You guys have a knife here I want to show you. I got it yesterday. From the title, you know it's a Phil Wilson Custom. This is his bird and trout model. Uh, Mr. Wilson is somebody I've long wanted to own a knife from. It took a while to uh, be able to purchase one. If anybody else has bought one, you know they're not a cheap asset to have. But I consider Mr. Wilson kind of up there among kind of the top people you hear about in custom knife making. Maybe just, maybe for me personally, I consider him kind of a name you hear like Loveless or similar people. It's in Black Micarta. It is CPM 154 as you can see. I actually chose this over S30V. I don't know if he does these in super high carbide steels or not. But I really like CPM 154 and Phil is um, you know like a master heat treater. He does his own heat treat. It's very lean. It's .90 stock. And it comes down to around six to seven thousandths thick behind the edge. And the handle is extremely comfortable. Phil is just very simplistic in all his designs pretty much, but they're so... I just love simplistic designs because you don't need a whole lot of fanciness to make something work well, especially in a knife. Even his choil is very comfortable. You can see here he has tapering in the handle. It gets a little bit thinner as it comes in. It's very comfortable in all grips that I've tried so far. And I love Micarta. This is black Micarta. And I think the Bird and Trout is one of the few models he does with a full tang. A lot of times he does the partial tang, which I really like the looks of those two. And you know, you're not gonna break one. You'd really have to be abusive to break the knife out of a handle. So, this is just a quick look. I'm going to use it. It's not going to be a safe queen. Probably start in the kitchen and stuff just to start, you know, get a feel for performance. And So, as always, thanks for watching, guys. And I do have a Charles May Custom that I'll show here in the next few days as well. So... Catch you guys in the next video.